hello, hello. Are things working? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. Hello. Um, I apologize. It I have my computer turned up to make sure my mic was working, and then by doing that, um it made the audio repeat because it heard it, and then I couldn't tell if it heard me. <laughs> I apologize. I know captions were picking me up, but I have the noise filter on my mic, and if that app, for whatever reason, doesn't open, my mic doesn't work. Um, so I had to check that. But now I know that that's the trick. Also, I apologize. I do have to have my volume up on my phone during the stream. I'm waiting for a couple phone calls again, so... When does- when does that ever end with me, to be fair? <laughs> um, I also... Probably at most will stream for an hour. Um, it is currently 3.38 CST and my mom gets off at 5 and I will be leaving the house at 5, so... Um, we are a little short on time, not really. I pretty much stream for an hour anyways. I apologize for being late. I was so hyped to be on time this time. And then my sister wanted to go to Walmart, so. I needed to pick up medicine at the pharmacy, so I was like, fine, I guess I'll go. And then I bought a new stress ball while I was there. Look at how cool it is. It's pink. And then when you squeeze it, it's purple. And it is the it is it is the coolest thing ever. This is the I'm keeping the box to hold it. This is this is the the thing. It's three dollars at Walmart. This is this this makes my neurodivergent brain very happy. So I've never owned a proper Stress ball. I've always had other stuff, so. Thought I would share. It's three dollars. If you go into the children's section, my Walmart is on the back wall where they have all the fidgeting, like, crap and, like, mini brands and stuff. I'm a child. I shop in the toy section all the time. Um, exhibit A, stuffed animals. Uh, <laughs> they are there. Oh, hi, you welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you on here in forever. Um, I'm sorry I didn't call you. When I texted you to call you, and then my sister called me and was like, can you go to Walmart with me? <laughs> she answered me. I was like, gosh, freaking darn it. So I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I had to do, I was going to spill this tea anyways. I've been on the phone with my college all freaking morning. We are having so many issues. So the tea, the tea. Also, tips for any other neurodivergent individuals going into college. Um, try to keep up with these things and don't do what I did because I should have kept up with it. Um, so colleges let you have these things called 504s and they're basically accommodation plans. Um, where like if you are neurodivergent or disabled or um, any other mental illness, you can have accommodations. Um, I have them for my ADHD. And I got my 504 set up February 17th, right? Well, then I was told I need to pick my classes, but I, that I have to take my math placement test first. Um, I email my head person for my 504, and I was like, yo, do I have the accommodation for that to have time and a half? Because I need that. And um, no answer. A month later, I email again. No answer. I should have called. I should have just got myself to call, but anxiety, I couldn't get myself to do it. And then, um, so I was like, screw it, I need to call today. I call the disability center at my college. I'm not saying where. I think you guys already know where I'm going. I don't feel like saying it now. Um, I call and I'm like, hey, yeah, what do I do? Because my person's not answering me. I don't know if I have this accommodation. I'm way behind. I need to take this test. I start college in February, in August, and I don't have my classes picked yet. And disability was like, oh, honey, I don't know what to do. This, this hasn't happened before. Um, see, I thought that. No. My SAT score is really high, but they won't use it. I don't know why they won't use it. I was told that they would use it. They're not using it. I don't, I don't know. Um, I also was told they don't need SAT scores, and then they made me send them, and I had to pay. So I, I don't, I don't know. Um, so, go in circles with disability. They're like, hey, maybe just call a testing center. I'm like, all right, bet. I call a testing center. This poor man, what a gentle soul. <laughs> Was so confused, felt so bad, was like, yeah, I don't know why they're not answering you, that's not right. And he's like, well, can you go to the disability office? And I'm like, oh, I'm an online kid, this call, I'm in a different state entirely. Um, I don't, I don't, they're not Midwest, they're to the left. 
if you're looking at the United States map, they're to the left. I will go as saying that far. I don't remember what time zone that is. I'm in the Midwest. Um, oh, they suck for online kids. So, but they have the best program for what I want to do because they they have photojournalism in it. I'm going for journalism, by the way. So, like, I need, I need, there. There is the only one that I can do it online gives me photojournalism. So, he was like, um, we're going to do a thing I'm not supposed to do because your 504 is being weird. So, well, first, backtrack. He was like, okay, well, let's see if I have your 504 because then I'll just put stuff in for you. And I was like, all right, bet. There is no 504 in the system. There is nothing for me. When I did the appointment, February 17th, I sent her everything she needed. I sent her my high school 504, did everything I was supposed to. I never got sent a copy of it, but she said she would send it to everybody that needed it. Nothing. So I have to do that all over again, by the way. I'm wait the call I'm waiting for is to set up a new appointment to do it again. I start college in August. <laughs> Um, so he was like, okay, we have to do something I'm not supposed to do because normally I would tell a student to contact disability, but you already did that and they don't know what to do. So I'm just going to put in what your accommodation is because I believe you. And he was like, what, what accommodation do you need? And I'm like, and he's like, what have you had before? And I'm like, oh, well, when I took the SAT, I had time and a half and I can, I can prove that I have paperwork for it. Um, and like, I have the letter that they sent me when I did the SAT. And he was like, all right, I'm going to put you down for that. Email me your school ID and everything so I have it exact. And then I will put you in for it. I just got the email right before the stream saying that he did it. So what a kind soul. But so now I have to do disability all over again. And then on top of it, on top of it, this is just a thing. This is just a thing that irritates me. It, it, like it, it. <sighs> so I am not a very financially fortunate person. I am now i am employed now with COVID and everything we got a lot of you know support that my family should have just always had because america sucks but it got us in a place where we have things now like i'm able to stream like i have a pc blah 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 um but i have not always been a financially fortunate child and i had to do a lot of stuff th first through school uh, like for free i had to do all the paperwork i'm on food stamps you know what i mean so I had to get my fees for SAT things waived because of my financial situation and my AP tests were paid for by my school because I couldn't afford it, right? Um, they were like $90 a piece and I couldn't afford it. I took AP Physics and um, AP 2D Art and Design or whatever. So, you know, like I paid for it by the school. And now my college needs the transcripts from those things. And I also did a college course at my community college through my high school. So they needed that transcript as well. So they needed the transcript of my test scores from College Board, and they needed a transcript of my test scores from, or my class grade from the college, right? They've been asking this of me for months, but I didn't know how to send it to them because I was scared to ask, and they are horrible to answer questions. So I've been avoiding it. I finally freaking did it to get today. It costs me $8 to send over my community college transcript, and it costs me $15 to send over my AP scores. That's $23. I've normally always had things where I have to do a waiver, they waive the fees. But because it's been however long since I took those classes now, it's still, like, I did them in um, 2020, but the class I did 2020 to 2021, it's still the year that I did it. Like, I graduated a couple months ago, but I finished my classes in January. And they wouldn't cover the cost of it. They said that my waiver wasn't good anymore because I, I graduated. And it's like, my financial situation didn't change. Like, we just got stuff because of COVID, but like, you know. So, that's just a thing that irritates me. It's like, I did all of the work, I did all of the things. You know that I'm not financially in a good spot, and I just had to pay $23 to send them a transcript that, like, you know? And I've been asking them for months like since, oh my god, since I got accepted there, hey, I took these AP classes and I took this, do y'all need that transcript? And they kept skipping that question. I've had like three different counselors with this school already because they kept switching what department I'm in because they originally had me as an in-person student, even though I applied as an online kid. And they're like, oh, well, freshmen have to do their first year on campus. And I'm like, haha, that's funny. I can't. <laughs> Um, and then I had to do this waiver and apply as disabled so then I didn't have to do it. And it just, and that, that caught, that almost cost me money. My counselor had to get me waivers for that. Also, I'm sorry, my lighting's gonna keep changing because of my curtains. So, sorry. Um, 
But dude, it's just a mess. It is just an absolute mess. And I'm supposed to start in August. And none of my classes are picked. My counselor won't tell me what classes I'm supposed to take. She was supposed to do a meeting with me before I did my classes. And she won't do the freaking meeting with me. She keeps saying, oh, we don't need to. Yes, we do. I have questions, ma'am. I need to do this meeting. Um, it's, it's just, it's just a mess. Oh, so they know that my parents aren't paying for tuition. They also know that I only have one parent. My dad passed away in 2019. So, they know that. They won't, <laughs> they won't tell me what my tuition is going to cost yet. I will find out until July. My guesstimate that they sent me, which, by the way, I could not move ahead in my, um orientation stuff until I got sent them all the stuff to tell me what my financial plan is and then they sent it to me and it's so wrong it is entirely wrong they have me as living in the state they have me as living on campus they have me paying housing transportation my tuition is stupid low because they have me as an in-state kid I'm not an in-state kid my tuition is going to be like double to triple that because I'm not an in-state kid and I need to know what it is because loans and I called them and I was like, yo, this is so wrong. And the girl was like, oh, that's just our guesstimate. That's just the computer punches that out. It's not going to be right. You won't get it until the end of July. Okay, because y'all made me go in circles sending you all of my information for this guesstimate paper that I needed to have. And then it's wrong. And it's fine that it's wrong. And I won't find out what I owe until February. Or to, why did I keep saying February? July. So what if I can't afford it? I won't know. And if I can't afford it, I would be three weeks before I start. What am I going to do? Because I'm not going to be able to transfer. I might just have to take another semester off. Like, it just, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. I don't. And if my mod that is here knows ADHD buddies, this is so discouraging. And there are so many problems happening. My ADHD is getting to the point where I don't want to go to college anymore. Like, I'm already this close to being like, F it. I'm not going to college. Like, I am that close. And it sucks because I want to go for journalism. I want to be a journalist. Also, this thing is saving my life right now. Like, I want to be a journalist so bad. I, uh, the, I've already, um, my other two options, you know what, I've, screw it, I'm gonna say where I'm going. I'm, go I'm Colorado, I'm not saying which school in Colorado, but it's Colorado. There's a couple that could, that have the same major. I'm going to Colorado, I'm not saying which one. I probably already said it. My other two options were University of North Dakota, but they cost, I think, close to Colorado and they don't have photojournalism, it's just journalism. My other, and then my other one was um, Southern Illinois University Carbondale, I think it is, SIUC. That was my other option. Again, they don't have photojournalism. And I already said no to both of them. So I could redo things and try again with them if this hits the fan. But I want the photojournalism part. Because ADHD, I'm an art kid and I'm a journalist kid. Those are two very different things and this combined it for my brain. So, you know what I mean? I want to go here. <laughs> like, it's just... Sucks. They're, they're not equipped for online students, and I don't know why they offer it. I don't. I really don't. And also, all of these schools require me to do my first year on campus, but Colorado State, I could get it... Well, I just said it. Whatever. Um, I could get it waived. Which was freaking annoying to do, by the way. I applied... So they use the Common App. I hope this conversation is helpful to anybody applying to colleges. Do everything as ahead as possible, because then you get stuck like I am. Um... I applied through the Common App. The Common App put me as an online student. When it got sent to them, it got flipped to me being in person. So this whole time I was doing a lot of orientation stuff for the first like couple months um, of when I got accepted. Um, they had me down as an in person and didn't tell me. <laughs> then when I when I was getting sent to pick my housing stuff, I was like, "Whoa, hold up! I'm not I'm not going on campus." What? Because, like, it wouldn't let me go further and stuff until I did orientation in person and stuff and housing. And I was like, I'm several states away. I can't do this. And I already said yes to them and no to the other colleges. And I'm like, what is going on? And they're like, you're set to be an in-person journalism student. And I was like, I literally can't. I live in a different state. I am not in a place to move there. And I am disabled. No. <laughs> no. Um, 
I'm like, I told him right now, I'm like, all of my medical treatment and stuff is here. I can't, I can't move to Colorado. I, like, I'm just getting stuff done here. I'm not switching at all. No way. Also, another thing. I want, so far, I'm not 100% decided. I want to take a minor. I either want a minor in creative writing, which I know double, double English writing. But, like, I kind of want to do creative writing. I feel like I would enjoy it. Or... I want a minor in politics because journalism, politics, political writer, I love politics. I'm very interested in politics, but we don't allow political conversations here to avoid conflict. So I'm not going to say where I stand, but you can probably guess. Um, I want to minor in politics and I've talked to my counselor about it like eight times. And I'm like, when do we decide that? I have questions. How is that going to change my tuition? How does that add to my workload? Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, we don't need to have that conversation yet. Yes, we do. I start in August. I, start, I would start the minor at the same time as my major. What do you mean we don't need to have that conversation yet? I need to know what I'm doing and I like you can answer my questions. I don't I don't I don't I don't understand. I don't I don't know what's happening and nobody will answer my questions and nobody's answering emails anymore because they have to keep shutting down because of COVID because their campus keeps having outbreaks and spring break messed up a lot of emails. So nobody is communicating with me, and every time I call, I get put on hold, and it's just, it's just a mess. It is just a mess. I'm sorry this stream is 20 minute rant about college. I love you guys. Um, but yeah, we're in Overwatch today, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry I got into this rant. I'm just, I am heated today. I am, I am. And also today is my day off of work. I am now an employed person. I work 18 hours a week now. Look at me go. That's okay. I love you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's chaos. It is absolute chaos. I just love it. I love you. <laughs> also, shout out to my sister for getting me Duncan today. You saved my day. And I am excited because I'm going to Discovery when my mom gets off to buy more shirts for work because I've been wearing the same three because dress codes. And I'm excited because I love clothes shopping. Oh, my boyfriend just got home. I wonder if he's off work now. <laughs> sorry, funny Snapchat. Alrighty, but we are playing Overwatch today. I am so sorry that I started the stream with a rant, but... But... Hopefully... Here's the lessons from this rant. Did I just... Oh. I had wetness from my cup and I thought I exploded this already. Um, my five-year-old niece was like, be careful with it, I broke mine, and I was like, okay, and she was like, no, like, be careful, it can open on this part, don't leave it in your mommy's car, and it was just really funny. Um, it gets 90 degrees here, and, it, um, she left it in, in my sister's car, and it exploded, so don't leave these in your car. PSA. <laughs> um, but the lessons from this rant, do everything as a head as possible please pay attention to deadlines and if you can do stuff ahead please do it there were circumstances that did not allow me to do things ahead because my high school counselors are dum-dums and covid so be, be you know but try to educate as much as possible if phone calls scare you like they scare me and why i avoid them um because of issues with my brain um write yourself a script for the phone call Rehearse the phone call with someone. I do it with my mom, where I'm like, Hey mom, this is what I need to talk to this person about. How do I do it? She'll give me tips, I rehearse it with her, and then I make the phone call. Try that. That has helped me so much. Also, the more you make pho adulting phone calls, the better you'll get at it. I've made like four today. So, it gets better. I love you all. Your mental health matters. Also... Happy Pride Month, my loves. Um, I think my bot is working. So let me chuck this in here. Yep, it's working. Happy Pride Month. I love you all. I hope you all are having a lovely and safe, COVID safe Pride Month. Um, and then also here are the commands for my bot. If I could spell the word commands, that would be great. I spelled it wrong three times. There we go. There's the commands for the bot. Alrighty, we need to get freaking on Overwatch because I talked for 20 whole minutes. 20 whole minutes. Um, where is PC stream? Because I lost it. There it is. Oh, I have my camera sitting so weird. 
What do you mean you were unable to log me in? I was logged in, it just sat here. <laughs> Oops! Hold on. I don't want you guys to see me typing my password. I don't know why it logged me out. It's been logged in perfectly fine. Um. Oh god, how did I set this up? Um. <laughs> I apologize! See, basically what I did is that I set up everything for the stream, and then I cleaned my room, and then my sister called me. So. That messed. Everything up. Why am I logged out of this? What is my password? Hold on. Please hold. <laughs> I have my passwords written down on an app. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, I posted a picture of my outfit today, and my friend was like, but make sure you have pants on. I have pants on. I don't understand the meme here. <laughs> I'm wearing the coolest freaking pants today, by the way. Please tell me I wrote down my Overwatch password. I don't think I did. Oh, no. Wait, what do you- this is in it. Did I just type the password wrong the first time? Yes. That was what was wrong. We're in now. <laughs> I apologize, my god. Um, PC game stream, there we go. We're just gonna go on quick play and see what happens. Um, That's what I did last time. I think. Can I not hear the game? Oh. Oh my gosh, and I've had the music at full blast that entire time. I apologize. Um. Yeah, we can go on deathmatch while we wait. Warm up. <laughs> I'm wearing... Oh my god, okay, so, I posted a picture of my outfit. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Hold on. I wore a bomb outfit today. Thanks, babe. So, I'm wearing a black shirt and then these camo pants. I don't know if you can see the pants. Let's see if you can see the pants. Yes, you can. Camo pants. I posted my outfit, and my friend was like, I mean, nice outfit. But you're not wearing any pants. And I was like, what do you mean? Yes, I am. And he was like, no, you're not. You're just wearing a belt. It's because my pants are camo. He was making a joke because my pants are camo. That's really funny. Okay, camera's where it should be. We were staring at the ceiling. Oh, God. Controls. This is not Valorant. This, in fact, is not Valorant. Wait, what? How do I? Oh, I forgot that it says it. L shift does this. And then E does that thing. And then that does. Okay. I got it. I got it. We're, we're re relearning the game here. Stuff is happening down here. Hello. Ow. Also, I'm horrible at Overwatch, and this is like, what, my third time playing? Also, babe, if you're still here, are you off work? Question mark? Babe, you missed my 20 minute rant about college. Oh, are you on, um... Ow. Are you on standby? Oh yeah, I ranted about college because I was gonna call Aaron about it, and then I had to leave because my sister Impulse wanted to go to Walmart. So then I just ranted to Aaron about it on stream. Closer to go home and don't come back. <laughs> what does that mean? Why are you- you're so high. Come here. 
Am I hitting you at all? <laughs> They're just dodging it. It's really funny. Ow. No, don't hit me too. This is so funny. Stop it. No. <laughs> I was shooting at them for them to do that. Oh my god, that was, that was so funny. Good times. Also, yes, I apologize. My phone volume will be on for the stream because I'm waiting for phone calls, which also means I will be getting incredibly distracted by my phone. I am going to be entirely honest with you guys. Um, ADHD tings. Also, babe, if you're still here, I got a new stress ball and I love it. And I was playing with it at the beginning of this whole stream. <laughs> and it's freaking awesome and it was $3, babe. A whole $3 and that was it. I love it. I'm doing horrible. Oh, I forgot about the other buttons. Also, don't make fun of how I say buttons. I, I know that there's T's, I just- my brain's like, that's- that takes too long to say. I am so excited though, for when my mom gets off of work, because we're going to Discovery. If- I don't know if everywhere has Discovery, because it's a very, like, specific clothing store that nobody talks about. Um, it's basically- it's kind of like- like- like Romway and like Sheen. Sheen. What is- what is that? What is that called? Whatever that is. It's kind of like those kind of places. Um. Why do you sound so scary? Oops. Um, it's kind of like that, but a store. That's the kind of clothes. Like trendy stuff. Um. Not size inclusive, because why would they be? Companies suck, but um. Their stuff is dirt cheap, so... Ooh, I did one! Nice! No, you put the wall up! I was killing people! Rude! I was reloading my hand! <laughs> I find it weird that I have to reload my hand. Wait, the captions are covering what button that is that I need. Q. Where is Q? Oh, he was that side, got it. Um, I was playing- oh my god, babe, what's the game we were playing? Warzone? Whatever Call of Duty game that's free. We were playing that together. As you've heard me say before, I hate that game. Um... I got- I got better at it. I'm not good at it at all, but I got good enough at it where I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> It was really fun, but because of playing that, I r forgot the controls for this game. Where? I can hear you, but where? Sir? But you're so little! Oops. Um, but that, that game is kind of fun now, I don't hate it as much. Is it my favorite? No. I'd say my favorite shooter is probably still Valorant. Also, I'm starting to learn how to play the real, like, the actual, like, Valorant Valorant. Babe, how am I a nerd? You're the one that plays Warzone. <laughs> but I started playing the actual um, main game of Valorant, not competitive, but unranked. Um, I'm starting to understand it, and that's actually fun. And I, I can confidently say that Valorant's probably my favorite shooter. Valorant's so fun, though. Hi. Oops. Wait, did I kill them? And then, yes, we killed each other at the same time. Yeah, I learned something. Apparently you can kill each other at the same time on this game. Wee. Also, I know that I can do my Q thingy, but that means that I switch abilities with somebody else and I want to work on these abilities. So. If y'all didn't know, that's what her ability does. Her, her. Pronouns confusing. My own pronouns confuse me. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, babes. <laughs> Wait, you're also the same person as me. Oh, I did it! 
Honestly, I think this is one of the weaker characters to play. I think. But it's the one that makes more sense to me. Rude, I was shooting you. Ha. Get wrecked. Where's the healy thing that I grabbed before? Wow, I'm actually killing people during this. Normally I don't. <laughs> Hi. No, no. They regen health, Ruth. By the way, we're just playing deathmatch until it throws us in a real game. I don't know if this is how people actually stream Overwatch or if this is how you're supposed to play Overwatch, but this is all I know how to do. Is to click quick match, then click whatever I clicked on, and then play deathmatch. Until I get it. That's all I know how to do. <laughs> Wait, I forgot if they can hear me. Oh, I think I have push to talk on. Okay. I don't remember what my settings are for this, so I'm sorry if you can hear people, because I don't really want you to be able to, but... Oh well. Checking stuff. College board, stop telling me to study for my AP tests. I just sent my transcript to my college. I'm past AP testing. Thank you. God, I cannot believe I start college in, like, two months. Oh, that's disgusting. Wait, why am I so far behind everyone? I don't know how to get anywhere. Hi, friend. Where do we go? This way? <laughs> why am I so stupid? How are they all the way over there? Where are you? I didn't mean to fall, but... Hi, friend. Oh, oops. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha. <laughs> I didn't realize what was happening. Wait, am I gonna have to remember how to get over there every single time? Because that's gonna suck. Oh, I'll just follow you. Oh, it's not this hard. It's not that hard to get over there. Why did I get confused? Where are the oh there is no? Why does that one keep going after me? I don't like that one. Nice. We'll see if my commentary gets better this time. Now that I'm not panicking as much. Why am I so stupid? My brain's not comprehending what I'm supposed to be doing right now, I'm not gonna lie. Because I saw them shooting at things and I was like, from where? <laughs> like, where are the people that they're shooting at? I got it. <laughs> That's why I kind of stood there for a second, because I was like trying to register what the frick I was supposed to be doing. Well, I'm sorry, my cable in my headset was knocking over my cup. I apologize. Nope, that's not the button I wanted to hit. Uh, I wanted to hit this one. <laughs> no, I went the wrong way again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am such a horrible teammate. I am so sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did they put us that far away to make it back over here? Hi. Hi. Snapchat, leave me alone. I love you, friendos, but I'm gonna keep getting distracted. Oh, what's my friend in on? It's my work buddy. I sent her cute pants that I bought at her job. <laughs> I bought them. No, I did it again. Oh my god. I wanted this button. Jesus. Um. 
I bought these pants before I started at our job. Is this the right move to be up here? Probably not, because they're probably just gonna like snipe me. But this, yeah, I was gonna say that's probably not the move. Oh, I have the ability to switch with somebody. Yeah, how did they kill me? Oh, I didn't even. Oh, we all died. Oh god, we literally all did. Oops. Yeah, I knew I was getting hit. <laughs> Oh, that's how I was getting hit? Oh, I shouldn't- I need to stop standing still. Wow, we're over here. This is confusing me. Am I even going the right way? I wanna say no. <laughs> Wait, I was just aiming at my own person like an idiot. Didn't mean to hop down, but I guess we're here. Boy, I'm bad at this. Finishing them off my butt? You're doing horrible. <laughs> oh, I did it! Can I have heals, please? Oh, I got them. Never mind. Now. Rip. <laughs> oh. Dang. Skill, baby. I don't know if that's the fastest way to get there, but we're going this way again. Ooh, this way. Yeah, this is faster. Aim, please. Nice. Noise, noise, noise. Also, I'm aware that I have my special thingy, but again, I'd rather- I don't really want to switch people. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> I went right into the line of fire. <laughs> God, it's always people with guns that get me. Maybe I should use my ability to switch with one of the people with guns. I don't know if I want to, though. I don't- they look like they're like stuck in the corner, I don't know if I want to enter it. I don't know if that's the move. I don't know if I'm doing good at all or not. Whoa, I got blown backwards!
There, that was a lot of chaos, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, though. Okay, so they were just shooting into the pile of people, in all honesty. Nice. <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot I need to learn about this game. <laughs> Their name is Drug Squirrel. Aww, cute. Aww, I got endorsements. That's adorable. Oh my god, they all did it. I'm gonna do it to everybody. Cute. I don't think anybody's staying as a team. Alrighty. We'll do one more. I think. Um, that chat is worrying. Um. Okay. I don't know what they're chatting about, but yikes. Is that gonna stay there? Okay, no. Wow. Homophobia in the chat during Pride Month? Whack. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that was off the map. No, what is it? Are we not allowed down there? Ifs. That was funny. I just wanted to go exploring. I kind of hate the maps that they put us on for deathmatch because they're so intricate and like not open at all. Like they're very big maps, so then like it's hard to actually like hit where people are at. Oh, rip. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably do... So what time is it? Yeah. Probably one more round of this. Maybe... I'm really tempted after this to just hop on Valorant. <laughs> after this round. Kinda want to. If y'all don't mind. I kinda wanna stream up until I leave, but... I just went in a circle, didn't I? I am getting a little, a little sleepy though. Also, is this how other people stream Overwatch? Like, is this like... Why can I not find anyone? <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Ha. Ah. Get wrecked, son. Well. <laughs> um. I need to- I really need to learn more about this game. I need to watch videos on it. I think I said that last time I streamed it too. I'm not very educated on this game at all. I just kinda like downloaded it and started playing. I know, uh, my mod that was in the chat earlier, um, taught me about this game. And then, when we were talking about it, the game happened to be on sale, so I begged my boyfriend for it. <laughs> so... Um... 
I ended up having the game and then I was like, I want to stream it. So I like played it like that night for like a couple hours and I was like, all right, I'm ready to stream it. Knowing nothing about the game at all. <laughs> I just know that a lot of people love this game and I like not realistic first person shooters I'm learning, which is why I don't, I'm not very into like, um, like Call of Duty and stuff. I don't really like when the characters are real. Not le not literally real, but like representing like perfectly human. I don't know. It just it makes me realize that life is fragile and scary and blah blah blah. And I don't like hyper realistic stuff like that because I don't have nightmares about it and it's just weird. I don't know why my brain works like that, but it does. But that disconnect is there with games like this. <laughs> Where it's like it's fine because nobody is this weird alien looking thing that kind of looks like those robots from that one movie if you know you know my dad loved that movie and i hated it as a child um or like you know like men in black kind of characters like that disconnect is there where it's like um that would never happen so this is fun which is why i like valorant and this um i you gosh I hate to admit enjoying Fortnite as a game because it's a very sweaty game. A lot of people that play it are really crappy people, etc, etc. Um, but I think every game has those people. Um, like, <laughs> for example, I played Valorant on, um, unranked. Unranked? Right? Uncompetitive, you know, whatever, playing the actual game, trying it. And, um... Oops. They were way too close to me. Um... I decided to, well, no, I didn't even actually, hold on. I was going to play deathmatch like I always do. Just, like, by myself, though. Not streaming it. And I accidentally hit for it to go into the actual game, just, um, you know, unrated, whatever. And I was like, sure, whatever, I guess I'll play it. I already hit it. And I forgot all of the controls from the tutorial. It's been a hot minute since I did it, blah, blah, blah. And I was messing up horribly. I was the reason our team kept losing to an extent. To an extent. Um... And <laughs> not only was I called slow and an idiot and a lot of other things, but I also was made fun of for being asexual and <laughs> called autistic as an insult during that time. So every game has its sweaty people that think they know everything and will just insult teammates no matter what. So, you know, every game has those people, whatever. I'm aware that was a person there, wasn't it? Um, there's two of them. Nice. But, you know. Um, Fortnite is an incredibly sweaty game. A lot of younger people play that game, making it kind of sweaty. A lot of, like, 13-year-old boys that hate their parents play that game. But every game has its sweaty people. But that's why I also don't like admitting that I kind of enjoy Fortnite. But, like, the most realistic first person shooter I enjoyed was PUBG. And it was partially because I would just drive around the cars and run people over. <laughs> so, but I only ever played PUBG Mobile because I did I could not justify paying that much for a shooter game when Fortnite was free. And I just wanted to play a shooter and I had no preference at the time. This was like when I first got into like first person shooters in general. Um like a couple years ago. And I only played on, like, PlayStation. So, like, I did not- I didn't play PC games yet. The only PC game I played was Minecraft, so. Um. Yeah, this is a ramble. I don't really know where I'm going with it. But I enjoy Fortnite to an extent. I dreamed it- I dreamed it. I streamed it for giggles once. I did it again for funsies. I mean, I won both times, so. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Um. This is fun. I like this. I mean, I'm learning. Oh my god, I hate the character so much. They're so scary. Ow. From where? Oh, behind me. Oops. Um, this game is fun. I'm learning. I'm not doing very well, but... Also, I don't think I have the stream tagged as this, but I am a beginner player of Overwatch, and I know nothing about the game. I just wanted to try it. You threw me in the air, which honestly made it easier. 
Um, but so far, out of all of the first-person shooters I've played, I honestly love Valorant the most. Not entirely sure why. I mean, I have a couple reasons, I'm, but, you know. I don't know why me being stunned made me think I was dead already. Two different words. Oops, I put it into the wall. What is that gonna do? Wait, I did that? <laughs> oh, their fight. That was funny. I don't know where they went, though. Also, I'm aware that I have my ability thingy. Well, I don't... I want to learn this character better. Like, how to, like, strategize using her stuff. So I don't really want to use her ability, because then that makes me switch what I can do. And I don't want to do that. Oh, they moved! Uh, brick. <laughs> God, I keep getting distracted by having the stress ball. It's so good. It is so good. Let me... Check the notifications really quickly. Oh, funny story. I just got an email from my college telling me how to enjoy living on campus when I'm not living on campus. Um, funny story. So, if you were here at the beginning of the stream, I was ranting about college things and how I had to pay twenty three dollars to send over different transcripts for them and I, how I thought that was stupid. And, um, I don't get paid until the 25th for my new job, and I'm currently very much stretching my check from my old job. Um, and so I don't get paid for a little while more. And I was kind of sad about it because I just had to drop $23 that I wasn't expecting to spend because I thought I still had my waivers for those things because I'm not in a financially good spot. I am now because I have a job, but I didn't. So, I was telling my mom about it. And she was like, oh, huh, and I'll pay, f I'll pay with it, pay for it now because I had to do it online. She's like, I'll, I'll give you a $23 so you have money today. And I was like, okay, thank you. And, like, that was really sweet. And you know, like, the, there's the emojis that do this, and then there's, like, the little, like, puppy dog eyes kind of emoji that goes with this. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I sent her those after saying, like, oh, okay, thank you. And I sent her that. Her phone is older, it doesn't have that emoji, so it sends it as question mark, and I didn't know that, because I've sent it to her several times. Um, so, she, and I did that a couple times when she said stuff, and she was like, Why are you sending me all these question marks? Like, why are you pissed off at me? Like, I'm trying to help you and give you money, why are you so mad? I, so I was like, question marks? I'm not sending question marks, and I was like, oh! So I called her. And I was just, I was hysterically laughing the second I called her. And she's like, what is so funny? She's like, I thought you are pissed at me. I was like, pissed at you? You're giving me money. Why would I be pissed at you? And then, <laughs> um, she was like, well, then why are you sending me all these question marks? And I'm like, I'm not. And I explained the emoji to her. She And she was laughing so hard. She was like, oh my God, that is so funny. Um, by the way, my mom is 60 years old, so... <laughs> she doesn't- she doesn't understand, but she's really cute and I love it, so... I just thought that was funny. Are they still up there or no? Yeah. Hi. No! I forgot that that person is that thing! Oh! <laughs> They're doing a lot of stuff to hide out in corners. I forgot that that chain thing exists. Ding dong. I don't know if you guys can hear my phone when it goes off. I hope not. Oh, there's a lot of you. Yeah, I knew that was happening. Why I didn't shoot at that person instead, I don't really know. Wait, that's who killed me? I thought the person that just ran at me killed me. Interesting. Am I the only teammate that's been dying? Please don't run at me, that's rude. Ow. 
Well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really good at this game. I'm enjoying myself, but I am not very good at this game. <laughs> Hopefully I get better at it. Oh no, I'm not the only one dying. Okay. Hey, maybe don't walk into the line of fire me. Just tips for me. I need to keep- I need to keep moving. I can't- I need to stop standing in one spot. As I stand still in one spot. <laughs> oh, you were behind me. Well, frick. I- I'm so sorry. I need to see why things are happening. My mom is telling me to make sure that our dog doesn't get myrtled. Um... <laughs> We have a very tiny chihuahua, and there are these hawks that live by our house that fly over our house all the time. Um, and she was telling me to be careful when I let Prancer out, our chihuahua, because he is the size of a pet rabbit. And he will get stolen by a bird. <laughs> a private phone number is calling me? I don't know. Ugh. Hold on, I'm just gonna answer it on the stream. Hello? Hi! Oh. Audio working? Yeah. I am so sorry. Um. That was my college, and I could not get the game to go out of the game window for me to pause the stream, so I just turned off the camera and muted myself. I am so sorry. <laughs> and then it almost kicked me, so I don't know if you guys saw me running around in circles to make it not kick me. I am so sorry. Um. So, an update, I have an appointment with my disability center at my college to get my 504 fixed. And I have it on Monday at 3. <laughs> Which is time zone, so 2 o'clock for there. There. There? No, don't grab me with your cookie thing. Rude. Um, so yeah, I apologize for that. I handled that situation horribly on stream. I was trying to hit Alt-Tab so it would let me click on Streamlabs so I could pause it like I normally do. And it, I wasn't hitting it fast enough. Um, so I just muted myself and did that. I apologize. 
Um, but yeah, so things are getting sorted out with my college, so that's good. Um, but yeah, that was the phone call I was expecting, by the way. But they called from a private number that I wasn't expecting them to. So that's why my reaction to that was so weird. And I was like, do I answer this phone number? And I was like, probably. God, I'm getting just pummeled. <laughs> they all were hitting me. Um. But yeah, so things are getting sorted out. That's good. Again, I apologize for that. Adulting is ridiculous. Hopefully, I don't have to do all these phone calls on a constant anymore after this. I don't know who I want to switch with, ability-wise. No, no, no. You weren't supposed to see me. Stop, stop, stop. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry I keep touching my nose. I have a cut on my nose, like, right here. And it's just- it's just driving me nuts. Um, I don't really know how I did it either. But somehow I cut right there. Probably with my nail. Cause you see me all the time on stream doing like this because of my allergies. Um, so... Wow, that was fast. Um, <laughs> so... I think that's how I cut it, but it freaking hurts. Okay, well, at least I'm not the only one that keeps dying. I feel so bad I was AFK that whole time for them. No. That would be great if I could freaking hit people. Oh, they're up there. Also be great if I would stay on one freaking person, but I keep changing my mind on who I'm hitting. God, that aim was horrible on that person. Stop! No. 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 <laughs> we just like 1v1 over here. Also, again, I'm aware that I have my ability right now. I just don't want to switch with people. That person's still up in that corner. I have no idea. Ow. Well, I made it pretty far that time. I didn't die right away. Oh, I got shot from there. Rip. Did we lose? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because they had four people for most of that because of my dumb butt. Um. Well. I don't really know how people were doing, so I'm just gonna say it to a couple people. Because they were doing all of the work and not me. Are we going at 5? Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's 4.40, y'all. I am gonna end the stream. Whoopsies. Oh, hold on, leave game. Yes. And then minimize, minimize, go to just chatting. Hello. <laughs> I gotta end the stream. Um, My mom is picking me up in 20 minutes. <laughs> I didn't realize what time it was. Thank you all for dealing with my 20 minute rant about college, dealing with me getting a college phone call during the stream and then messing up the second round because of it. For whatever reason, if anybody from that team watches the stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching the stream. I love you all. I will be live um, Thursday, hopefully. Ooh, it will be late though, I have therapy. Possibly late, because it's at 6, but therapy is at 3.30. It might be late. We'll see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's stream. I love you all. Let's head on over to the ending screen. There we go. Um, Our Instagram is where I post all of our updates. I'm just going to speed through this, not going to lie. Um, Twitter, I send out a tweet every time I'm live. Amethyst Baby VODs is our VOD channel. I'm a little behind on uploading the VODs, but most of our streams are there. 
And we have a community Discord if you would like to join. You can play Pokemon in our Discord, which is fun. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's stream. I love you all. I will see you all on Thursday for Stardew. Bye, guys.